We're in Psalm 56 today, and it's, uh, it's a psalm of David uh, that's written in, in the face of real fear of, of real enemies. And, um, and as one commentator puts it, it is like a, this struggle between fear and faith throughout this psalm. And we're going to read it and see how we, how we respond. Be merciful to me, my God, for my enemies are in hot pursuit. All day long they press their attack. My adversaries pursue me all day long. In their pride, many are attacking me. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust, and I'm not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they twist my words, all their schemes are for my ruin. They conspire, they lurk, they watch my steps, hoping to take my life. Because of their wickedness, do not let them escape. In your anger, God, bring the nations down. Record my misery, list my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will turn back when I call for help. By this I will know that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, and I'm not afraid. What can man do to me? I am under vows to you, my God. I present my thank offerings to you, for you have delivered me from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. People have this amazing capacity, don't they, for for incredible kindness and and love, but also for for real evil and, and hurt. People can be scary. I wonder, do you find yourself fearful of people, certain types of people, particular individuals? Or maybe you wouldn't use that word fear, but but do some people around you affect the way you live, change your behaviour for the worse? Do you live in, in fear of man? This is the situation it seems David finds himself in. But he takes the brave step to not shrink back from the way that he is living, but instead to put his trust in God. I find it, I find it amazingly encouraging, but challenging as well. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. But what's amazing is the next verse. In God I trust, and I'm not afraid. As David puts his trust in God, somehow the fear that he that is real and that he's really experiencing somehow gets transformed, somehow begins to evaporate. And as he brings his fear into the presence of God, it's like he sees things more clearly. He sees people rightly. And some of the words, we can tell in some of the words he uses about people here, you know, mere mortals. One of the Hebrew words he uses about man is, means sort of weak, weak man, weak people. It's like as he brings his fears into God's, into God's presence, he sees people, he sees life in the right perspective. And he realizes, I don't need to fear these people. I don't need to fear you. I have a God who I can trust, who is far greater than anything that you can throw at me. But it's a challenge, isn't it? And so the first way I want to respond in prayer to this uh, this psalm is, what am I afraid of? Who am I afraid of? And, And how are they causing me to live differently? And God, please, would you help me to trust you? Remind me that I can trust you and that actually you can transform my fear. The next thing I find myself reflecting on as I read this psalm is, is why is it that his enemies are, are there in the first place? Why are they so keen to, like in verse six, conspire, lurk, watch my steps, hoping to take my life? They're really going out of their way to, to get at David, aren't they? Why? I guess it's because David is living so counterculturally against their values, what they want. He's living such a provocative life that he's really riling people. And it reminds me, Jesus said that the people that hated me, have hated me, will, will hate you that actually to to step out and live the Jesus way is a provocative lifestyle and invites some criticism and invites uh, potential enemies. Makes me ask the question, am I living a provocative kingdom lifestyle? Or am I totally blending into the values of the culture? Do Do I shrink back because of fear of people? Do I shrink back from the way that I know God's calling me to live? C.S. Lewis said, um, in the screw tape letters, um, and, and he's using the, in the voice, if you like, of a, of a demon, ironically saying, a moderated religion is as good for us as no religion at all, and more amusing. It's like, actually, we're, when we shrink back from the way God wants us to live, we're, just, we're playing into the devil's hands. Am I prepared to trust God? Am I living a kingdom lifestyle? So that's my second question, really. And, and, but in all of this, I find verses eight and nine so comforting as well, that God is so aware of our sufferings and our fears that he, it's like he counts every single tear, all of them recorded in his book. So, so I'm led to just finish my prayer time, I guess, with this psalm, 
by just bringing before him those fears and being vulnerable, being honest, there is such a vulnerability, fragility that we see to David in this psalm. I, bring, I want to bring them before God. And as I do that, to receive his comfort and actually be reminded of the ways that I can be so thankful for, for the ways he's acted in my life up to this point as well. And I can pray verses, I can finish by praying verses 12 and 13, remembering that he is the God in whom I really can trust, who is so good and who leads me in the light of life. So have a good pray and I'll see you soon.